Okay. Okay, we gotta go. Come on, come on. Somebody's tapping into our radio channel. Agent Pikachu says here's a helicopter. Come on, Agent Pikachu. Let's go, let's go. Maybe they've been spying on us and they figured out the clue and they were tapping into our radio system so they could figure it out and they could be right ahead of us. I'm Agent Tex and I'm about to eat a scorpion. What is up, Agent Adventurers? In our last episode, we hiked up to the volcano, you guys, the cinder cone. We went on the inside, we found the tree made of rocks, and we started digging it up, and look what we found. Look at this. This is crazy. Be very careful. This thing could be the next clue. It's buried under this. It's gotta be it. It's got to be it. It sounds hollow. It's some kind of clay figure, and this looks like it's something from South America or Central America. How would that get all the way over here? Wait, the pirate captain. Pirates would pillage all over the place, and they could have come from the western coast of South or Central America and could have brought something like this with them. So we gotta look for clues. Where would a clue be on this thing? You see any writing? Comment down below if you guys see anything that might be a clue. We need your help. Anything. There's symbols on his chest or symbols. something. Yeah, me... It's really dirty. It's been down there for a long time. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Look at that. The mouth is open. There's a slot here in the mouth. Wait, do you put coins in or something? Oh, is there treasure inside? It doesn't sound like there's anything inside. It sounds like wait. dirt. Dirt and rocks. Dirt and rocks. Ugh. I don't see any clues on the outside here. How could this be a clue? Comment down below, let us know. We really need your help agents on this one. I'm stumped. The only other thing I can think of is that because it's hollow, there's something inside. I don't know. With the slot, they could fit a note inside. Oh yes, yes, you're right. They could fit some kind of note inside of there. I don't see any way in other than breaking it. Maybe we could break the butt. Yeah. This is about to get intense. What do we break it with? The jagged edge of the machete. We could break it with the back end. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to damage the front because if this is a clue on the front, which I can't think of why it would be. I mean, there's earrings. It's holding this like bone looking thing. It's got a necklace. This does look like something from South or Central America, but I can't really tell for sure. Okay, adventure agents. So I'm about to break the butt off of this thing and see if there's something inside. It's you see, so be careful because there's only like scorpions. Or... What's this? Wait. What is that? This is. Okay, you guys, we found something in here. Now. Is that a leaf? Oh yes. Paper would have been really rare back then. This is really cool. There's some writing on a leaf, like a palm leaf or something. So what does it say, Axel? I'm gonna let you read it. Now climb to the top and look east by. This part of the leaf or whatever is been rotted out. Look east by S-O-U. East by south. East south. by south. Now climb to the top and look east by south. My next okay. clue lies inside a rocks. What? Look, a rocks. A rocks what? It's all smudged out, you guys. This is so old. My next clue lies inside a rocks. Wait, wait, wait. What's something that rhymes with south? It's a rhyming deal. Help us out, okay? Now climb to the top and look east by south. My next clue lies inside a rock's blank. What rhymes with south? Mouth! Oh, mouth, yes, yes! Inside a rock's mouth! Agent a cave. Pikachu! A cave! A cave! A cave, yes! But what does it mean? Now climb to the top. The top of what? Climb back to the mountain. Back to the top of the mountain. What are we waiting for? What? Let's go! All right, I'm gonna put this in here. You guys, keep it safe. They already got to it! All right, you guys, first we're gonna bury this thing back where it was. I'm just stacking rocks back here. Make it look like it was before. Oop. Scorpion! Wait. Scorpion! Oh my gosh, a scorpion, you guys! It's right there! It's scorpion, right there! Scorpion, right there, you guys. Look at that. Check this thing out. Oh, oh, oh boy. No, don't put your finger near it. Ooh oh, a scorpion. Man, that thing is intense looking. Oh, oh, oh. Should I let it sting me? You want it to sting you? You guys never, ever, ever get close to a scorpion. They can be deadly. I happen to know that the scorpions here on Maui are actually not deadly, but they can pack a sting, that's for sure. Let's eat it. You wanna eat it? Yeah. Oh man, in a survival situation, you guys, that's what we'd have to do. It's all like the food we had. Like Bear Grylls. Yeah, like Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls cut the stinger off and 
Eat that thing. Can we do right that? Can we do, it? Can, we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Look how excited he is, adventure yeah. agents, about eating a scorpion. This is a lesser brown scorpion right here. It has a pretty nasty sting, kind of similar to a bee, but it will not kill you. It is the only scorpion species here on uh, Hawaii. Oh, <laughs> oh little buddy. Oh, whoa, whoa. So if this thing stung me, you guys, it would just be kind of like a bee. See how he's just laying flat on that thing? This scorpion, he or she, sees that they're the same color as that. As soon as they got on that, look how flat they are. They think we can't see them. Oh, whoa, whoa. That was getting close to my finger. <laughs> Entomophagy is the consumption of insects. Uh-oh. And see, we here in the United States, we're like, oh, that's weird, eating insects. Ew, that's so gross, that's terrible. But a lot of cultures, they eat insects all the time. It's very normal. Did you know that, bro? No. Yeah, so for a lot of cultures, you guys, it'd be really normal for me to just eat this a bug just like this Can right I here. Kind of kill off and eat so in a survival situation, this would be a good thing to do. Comment down below if you want me to eat this scorpion, okay? We eat it. Eat it yeah, eat we'll it. cut off his stinger yeah. first, okay? Let's go ahead and have a snack and eat a scorpion, all right? All right, so you guys never ever do this at home. Never ever get near a scorpion. This is only for demonstrational purposes for survival. And Axel is not going to be doing this. First thing I have to do here is cut off the stinger, just like that. So now that the stinger's gone, the scorpion is pretty much harmless. I'm Agent Tex, and I'm about to eat a scorpion. Agent Pikachu wants to eat some. I may or may not let him eat some, but I'm not going to show you guys if I do. Time to eat a scorpion. Mmm. Mmm, crunchy. Mmm. Oh. Oh boy. Mmm. Mmm, that's real crunchy. <laughs> you like it? It's a scorpion. What can I say? Yummy! Yummy, really? yummy! All right, you guys, so Agent Pikachu may or may not eat scorpion, but I'm not gonna show you guys. And remember, you guys, never, ever, 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 ever get near a scorpion. Where you are in the world, you guys, some of these scorpions, they are deadly, they can kill you. Do not get near a scorpion. If you see one, get back, tell an adult. So Agent Pikachu totally did not just eat a scorpion, and he is not washing it down with a banana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wash my scorpion down with some Nick sticks. It's grass-fed beef jerky sticks. Big shout out to Nick sticks for fueling our adventures. Oh, I'll put yeah. a link down below for any parents who are interested. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Nick sticks are way better than a scorpion. I'll tell you that. All right, let's get back to solving the mystery. Okay, adventurers, so we're heading out of the volcano, out of the cinder cone, up to the top to look east by south. Hey, Agent Pikachu, I just thought of something. We found that clue, and that means that whoever it was that was searching on the plane, they didn't find the clue, right? Because we found it. What if they put it back? I don't think they did. Because it wasn't broken open, right? If they would have gotten it, they would have broken it open. Daddy, I think we're on the right track here. What if there wasn't anything inside of that and they figured it out? Because they had like a flashlight, and then they wrote on a different piece of paper and put something inside. Oh my gosh, do you hear what Agent Pikachu's saying? What if they made a decoy note? What if this is a decoy and we're not even going on the right trail? I hope not. That's a long shot. What we dug up there looked pretty legit. Agent Pikachu, where are you? Over. Agent Pikachu, where are you? Over. I'm right here. Oh, there he is. We are at the top of the volcano here. Now we just have to figure out where South by East is. So I got my compass here. Let's south here. by South east. by East. So maybe South, but a little bit East. That would maybe be in the right, middle. Sort of down along that beach right there. Okay. There's a bunch of rocks right there. There's a bunch of rocks there. Right. Yeah, adventure agents, there's a bunch of rocks down there. And lava, whenever it hits water, it tends to form caverns and caves. Some can be underwater, some can be right above the water. Remember the cave we used to go to? The one with the hole on the top? Yes, 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 you guys, okay. Some of you guys may remember we made a video with some monster trucks in this cave. And it's right down in that direction, at the end of the sandy beach there. That could be it. You wanna go check it out? Right now. All right, Agent Pikachu, let's do it. What's going on? Agents, someone was just tapping into our radio signal here. Who is this, over? What are the ropes you're talking about, over? You guys, somebody's just talking about some ropes or something. What's your name? Are you trying to steal the treasure from us? 
You've given it away. Mm. Don't do that, Agent. Maybe they don't know about the treasure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't want to give away too much information if we can help it. Somebody's here, something. and they're tapping into our radio signal. we got to change our channel. All right, ropes are coming down. Let me know when you're ready. Rope. Ropes? You guys, somebody Wait. might be hot on our trail. What if they're down there trying uh, to get our clue? Ropes coming down in three, okay. two, one. Okay, we got to go. Come on, come on. we got to go, Agent. This is getting intense. Come on. A helicopter? Where? Agent Pikachu says here's a helicopter. Come on, Agent Pikachu. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Agent, so if you remember in our last episode, we came way up the side of the volcano. It looks like there's an easier trail right here. Agent Pikachu found it. Hopefully this trail will be easier getting down the volcano, you guys. You guys, we're hearing it again. He said, your dad. He said, chain it down. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, you guys. Daddy. We're getting that signal again. We don't know what's going on. Somebody's tapping into our radio channel. We got to change our channels, Axel. Let's stop. Let's change it to channel 21. Okay, agents, so we're on channel 21 now. Go ahead and give it a try, Agent Pikachu. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. So hopefully they won't be tapping into our channel anymore unless they guess that we're on channel 21 now. Let's keep heading down the volcano. I don't like being up in a volcano anyways. A dormant one like this, you never know when it could erupt. Oh look, there's the road. Agent Pikachu, I found the road. Do you read me, over? Are you okay, Agent Pikachu? Okay, come on down, I'll be right here. Oh, there he is right there, there's Agent Pikachu. Look, the road's right down here. Come on, I see our truck. Let's go! Go, go, go! Okay, Agent, so, Agent Pikachu just thought of something. There's a small hole in the cave, just enough for a man to fit in, and the entrance is completely blocked by vines. And the ropes, you could slide down in. The people that were tapping into our radio earlier were thinking maybe that they're using ropes to lower down in the cave. Maybe they heard us talking through the radio about the new clue and they're headed to the cave right now and they're going down in. Maybe they've been spying on us and they figured out the clue. They didn't need the clue. They just needed us to get it. And they were tapping into our radio system so they could figure it out and they could be right ahead of us. So they may have the next clue already right now. So we got to hurry and get to that cave before they do. Maybe they're already there. We don't know. This is where it's getting intense. We've got to be careful. We're heading to the cave right now. Okay, agents. So we are here down at the beach. There's the volcano that we were just up on. I see the cave! Okay, Axel says he sees the cave. We gotta hurry. Now we gotta be careful, okay? Remember what we learned as ninjas? Gotta be stealthy. Can't let people know that we're coming. Over here, come on over here. Come on over here. So, you say the cave is right over there? I think I maybe okay. might see it. Here, get down, get down. I think you're right. I think the cave is right over there. So you guys, what we're looking at is right, right over there. From this point on, we gotta stick to the tree line. We're sticking to the trees, under the trees, and over the trees, stealth mode. Okay, so I think the cave is right around that bend, right over there. You stay right here behind the rock. I'm going to go see the cave real quick, okay? I want to make sure it's safe. Okay, stay right here. Okay, guys, it's safe. I don't see anyone in here. Agent Pikachu, it's safe in here. You can come on over. Later, bye. Okay, adventure. so this is the cave right here that we know about. This thing is huge. You can actually go up inside of it. I got a flashlight. Let's check it out more. Do you see anything? Comment down below, you guys, if you see anything. Oh, look at that spider. Wow. This place is kind of creepy. I'm trying to look up inside to see if there's anything. 
here. Like a man. On the corner. I think I'm gonna have to go in a little deeper. Now, if I was a pirate and I hid something in there, you'd have to hide it pretty good, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. I don't think this is gonna be easy to find if it's in this cave. Oh, there's some kind of cavern right here. Look, check it out. Oh, I don't see anything in it though. Oh, there's another cavern right here. Wow. Oh, I don't see anything in there either. Oh, there's some little crevices. Oh, but I'll have to get past the spider, you guys. What would you guys well, do? Oh, maybe the spider web is something that's like a deterrent. Oh, it's moving around. Oh, look at that. Look, it looks like a giant spider on the wall back there is moving around. Oh my gosh, the spider's getting bigger. It's getting bigger, Axel. Look at it back there. It's huge. That's a shadow of the spider, you see that? Isn't that creepy? Oh, that's so creepy, you guys. Okay, Agent, so I think I'm gonna have to knock this spider web down because we gotta get back there to see if there's any clues. Spider's moved up there. I'm gonna have to knock, I'm sorry. Spider, I'm gonna have to knock your web down. But you got plenty of silk in there. Spiders, they're very <laughs> resilient. There's a spider right there, you guys. Check it out, I think it's huge. All right, I'm gonna go way back up in here. Oh, there's some kind of crevice up in here. I don't see anything in it though. There's a hole right there, nothing, 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 nothing. I don't see anything in here. Man, I thought for sure this would be the cave. We're stumped again. I have a good theory. What, what is the it? The other guys already got it. I didn't even think of that. Oh, no. I didn't even think of that. I thought that when we got here, I just assumed that nobody was here and that meant that they weren't here, but they could have left. They could have already gotten it. I feel like we got swindled, you know? Like they let us do the dirty work up there. They didn't want to brave the volcano. That's probably what it was. They let us get it and then they just spied on us and they came down here as soon as we got it before we could get down and took the clue. That could be what happened. What do you guys think? What else could it be? The riddle said, inside a rock's mouth. What else could that be but a cave? Wait, that's a cave. There's a cave another right cave? there, I think. Okay, like, guys, so Agent Pichu like thinks he sees another cave. cave. We gotta keep looking, that's what I say. Maybe they were going in here and they didn't find it and wasn't here. Maybe it's in another cave. I'm never giving up. You're never giving up? Agent Pikachu says that he's never giving up. Agent Tax never gives up either. Adventure agents never give up. Come on, let's go. So Agent Pikachu, where did you see that cave? Right there. Oh, it does look like a cave right there. Let me peel this back. Let's see what's in there. It is kind of like a cave in there, but it kind of ends right here. Yeah, there's nothing in there that I can see. We'll keep looking, you guys. Oh, here's something. Oh, yeah, that's just a crack. Okay, Agent Adventurer, so now we are in an area that's got a lot of tide pools in it. And there's some really cool creatures here. So we're taking a break to check out some things. Now this right here is a really cool sea creature. It's called a collector urchin. It's a sea urchin that collects things on it. See that? It collects things with these little deals. Now, can't tell hardly, but it's got these little feelers. Whoa, you got a collector urchin? Whoa, there's and a And it's got these little fishing. teeth in there too. Remember when we ate one of these? Mm -hmm. Now you guys, you can actually eat these raw. Don't ever eat anything in the wild unless you know it's okay. Yeah, it'll stick to your hands if you let it sit long enough. And this right here is another kind of sea urchin. It's all spiny. That, that is a pretty urchin. You wouldn't want to step on that though. The spines aren't venomous though. But there is a sea urchin here whose spines are venomous. Ah, I see it right here. That is a mean urchin right there. Oh boy. See, it's moving its little feelers around. That thing will stick you good. It shoots its spine right up into your finger or your foot and it breaks off inside of you. It's got these barbs that won't let it come out and it shoots venom into you. Stay away from those things. You don't want to step on them. Then you guys, there's this urchin. It's called a helmet urchin because it looks like it's got a plated helmet right there. These things are pretty sweet. Put you back on there. Oh, Axel got a pencil urchin. It's a baby pencil Look at that. That thing is so cool. Wow. Oh, check this out. This is the cowrie. That thing is beautiful. It's like a snail. Oh, it's all gooey. <laughs> There's so many amazing sea creatures here, you guys. Axel, look behind you. The volcano is erupting. It's spewing lava. What the? <laughs> 
doesn't that look like the volcano's erupting? It's just the sunset though. Oh, it's beautiful. Man. I thought you were really telling the truth. Oh, you, you thought I was telling the truth? I was just joking. Check it out, adventure agents. Look what I got. I got this big crab right here. Look at those claws. I think we're gonna have to call it a day. The sun is setting, it's getting dark, and how about we come back tomorrow? What do you say? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, in our next episode, we're gonna come back here and we're gonna find this cave. Hopefully we'll find it because we don't know, maybe those people, whoever it was that we heard, already took the clue. I don't know, you guys, we'll see. We're not gonna give up. We're gonna go back and look for a cave. To end the show, Crab versus finger. Give me a thumbs up for this, okay? Which pincher should pinch me? The ripper claw. The ripper? One. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you guys, you ready? Crab pincher versus me. Three, two, one, go. Finger. Ow! Oh, oh, ow! Two crab it's ow! Oh man! Ah! Ow, 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 ow! Oh, it's got my other finger now. Oh, okay. Alright, Lego, please. Please. Oh! Oh, ow! Oh, 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 ow, ow, Lego. Okay, okay. Man, that is a, a nasty little crab. There. Ow! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Ah, get away! Ah. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. I think. Ow! 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 Okay. Oh! Whoa, whoa. Ah. Okay, you guys. So we are gonna take this crab home. You wanna eat it? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, you guys. This will be a great snack. You know how you go to a grocery store and oh, for Joe's Crab Shack or Red Lobster, or whatever. Ah. Crabs and stuff. <laughs> Well, this is what this is. This is a crab, and it's got meat in it, and we can eat it, so. Ow! Ow! Let go! Ow! All Fingers right. loose! All right, agents, you guys get out. Use your imaginations to find creative ways to live your life and love everyone around you. No matter what you have, no matter where you are, you can have fun just like this crab does every day. Just use your imagination. Wait a minute. He's trying to pinch the ice. <laughs> Remember, we love you. We think you're awesome. We're so glad you could join us in today's adventure. And thank you so much for all you agents who have been commenting and helping us solve this mystery. You guys are awesome. Bye. Goodbye to me, because I will be eaten.